Hello, this is Patrick Sheffield, and I'm the author of the Keeper plugin that uses Apple's machine learning to separate people from their background without the use of green screen or locked off cameras. Keeper is available from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Today, I'd like to highlight some of the new features in the latest release of Keeper. Since the machine learning algorithm is somewhat of a black box, I've concentrated on processing the image before it goes into the recognition and giving more options for what's done afterwards. First are settings to alter the sharpness, contrast, brightness, and saturation, as well as the ability to apply a LUT for log footage prior to recognition without altering the image output. Here's an image that's just a little too dark for recognition to grab onto. By adjusting the pre-processing settings carefully, we can get a stronger key of the person. These settings are keyframable since what helps in one frame may make it worse in another. Next, I've added a lot of smarts to processing the mat after it comes back from recognition. As well as full, which is what Keeper 1.0 delivered, you can also do outline, inline, core, and combo. Outline builds a line around the person, adjusted by width, which controls the width, and edge, which controls the fall off of the line. Inline builds a line inward, also controlled by width and edge. As I'll show, this can be very helpful with compositing. Core starts at the center and builds outward. And finally, combo, which, like it sounds, is a combination of inline and core. And I'll show you how it can be used to fill in holes in the mat that recognition gives us. I've also added something new that you can do with the output. As well as composite, matte, and overlay from the initial release of Keeper, I've added colored matte, which is useful when you, for instance, want to put a colored line around someone. Finally, I've added patch, which you can use to patch a hole in your mat or block out something or someone that you don't want to be included. Or you can use it to only include the person covered by the patch. Now let me show you a few examples of the new features in action. First and easiest is outline combined with colored mat to draw colorful outlines around people. You can add more layers and get more outlines if you like. Next, if you've ever had to take someone with light hair against a dark background and place them over a new background and end up with dark fringing like this, you've probably thinned and eroded to get rid of it, but then their hair turns into an unnatural helmet look. Now you can use two copies of the person, the first with full thinned back a bit, or core built out enough. Then set the second layer to inline with a blend mode of lighten, and you'll only get the edges that are lighter than the background. I'm sure we've all had instances where a badge or a phone gets cut out, leaving a hole in our otherwise perfect key, and no amount of thick and thin, etc. would completely get rid of it. So let's try combo. Since it's a combination of inline, which builds from the edge inward, and core, which builds from the center outward, Often it can fill in little holes in our map, like this. Finally, for those persistent holes that won't succumb to combo, there's patch, which allows you to take an adjustable shape and use it to fill unwanted holes. If the person or camera is moving, you can track the shape in place. Also, patch can be used to remove unwanted bits or background people that you don't want in your composite by switching add to remove. And finally, you can use patch's include function to only include the people covered by the patch like this. That was a quick rundown of the features of the new release of Keeper, available from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Thanks for watching.